I don't think, look, I don't think art is more popular than Ubuntu, but it certainly gets talked about a lot more, right? We, we can we can check the, uh, it, maybe it's not it, maybe it's not more popular because of the service that you use Ubuntu, but we can we can open uh, Steam Steam hardware stats sure, and look yeah, at what okay. people use. And the, the first one distro would be, I think, SteamOS, uh, SteamOS ISO, SteamOS 3.0. Seven, I guess. Uh, I've seen and the Ars numbers. Linux. I yeah. know what you're talking about. The number, okay. The the way that Steam counts the numbers is a little bit funky. Um, yeah, it's true. So, yes, Arch is popular, but the reason why it's it's not exactly correct is it counts different versions of Ubuntu as different entries. True, so, true. That's true. You can you can calculate them together and, and yes, get the, you have tw- and get the proper result. Yeah, you have twenty two oh four on zero point seven percent, uh, zero point zero seven percent, uh, twenty four oh four on zero point zero seven percent, and then twenty two twenty two core. I don't know. Oh, that might be the snap. What is that? Ubuntu Core twenty two. What the hell is that? Steam, uh, Steam is is a little bit weird when it comes to stats, but mm. we we can say that Ubuntu Ubuntu is extremely popular. Ubuntu yeah, comes yeah. pre-installed with some laptops. A lot of people use Ubuntu as a as a default option, and yet Arch Linux somehow is the, is the second the second the most popular option out there, or the, or maybe the first one uh, if we count it properly. I I think it might be second. I'm. Because they only show yeah, like the it, top. It might be second. Because si- mint's also it's it's either mint or arch in second. Yeah, yeah, and the fact that mint is also based off Ubuntu kind of implies that Ubuntu is way more popular than we would think. But nevertheless, Arch Linux isn't that user friendly as mint or Ubuntu, and mm-hmm. still, and yet, it has the majority. Mm-hmm. That's fascinating. That's, I think that's because <laughs> using Arch Linux is cool. As a meme, I think that memes got us to this place. <laughs> you, you know what? You might be onto something there. I, I, I think you might be correct. <laughs> when you open uh, Reddit, when you open Reddit slash R slash Linux memes or Linux masteries, there are a lot of people who use Arch, by the way, mm-hmm. and. <laughs> Uh, the, the, you have a lot of uh, talented Linux YouTubers like like you, like Luke Smith, who promoted Arch Linux uh, through the years. Mm-hmm. DistroTube, I think, uh, daily drives uh, Arch Linux. A lot of people daily drives Arch Linux. So, mm-hmm. yeah, it, it's kind of default option. It's kind of a cool kit Linux distro, sort of, mm-hmm. sort of. The other thing that really cool. skews the numbers is I'm looking at now. Um, if you don't count the numbers like together, the mm-hmm. second biggest option is the flat pack. So we don't actually know what people are running the flat pack yeah. on. Yeah, that's weird. It's it's called free desktop something something. Yeah, yeah free desktop STK uh, STK twenty three oh eight. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that that's could weird. be Arch. And... That could be Ubuntu. We don't actually know. Yeah, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Steam uh, Steam on SteamOS on Steam Deck is installed via flat pack as a flat pack package, and yet it uh, calculates SteamOS as a different. Ye- is, it, is a different distro. Uh, so I don't know if it's a flat pack on. Is it? No, no, the it, no, it's not a flat pack. The flat pack isn't officially supported. Not... No. Um, uh-huh. No, the flat pack is the flat pack is recommended over the snap, but the flat pack isn't official. There's a couple of No, no, no. I mean, if you have if you have uh, if you use Steam Deck, how mm. Steam application is installed on Steam Deck? Is it yeah, a no, flat it's not... pack package? No, it's not a flat pack. No. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's a Pac-Man package. Uh how how Steam is packaged on, on the Steam Deck? I don't know. The, I don't know the answer. Uh, it's it's. I actually don't. Well, I know it's not a flat pack. Um, okay, it's right. built directly uh, into the Pac-Man. ISO. Ah, uh huh. Maybe it's a Pacman package. I don't think it's because, the, the package um, that comes from Arch. I think it's their own custom. Package. No, 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 Just... no. It's definitely yeah. It's definitely their own custom package. But what package manager they used to build it? Well. Probably, it's probably built with like if it's being built into the image, it would be yeah uh, installed through Pac-Man then. Yeah, cool. That's cool. But um, yeah, the Steam Deck is obviously the most popular out of the ways to uh, yeah. play games yeah. on Linux by far. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> oh, crazy! <laughs> the Steam Deck has done a lot of really positive things for for Linux yeah, gaming. It's true. 
not just true. not even just like making it better but just showing people that you can showing people that gaming yeah. on linux actually is possible because i remember you you're mentioning uh steam os before i remember when that yeah. got announced and there was like a list of what like 15 20 games it was like i think um uh shadow of mordor had a, yeah, had shadow a linux of mordor board. Saints Row 3, uh, CSGO, and Dota 2, I think, and maybe 5 or 10 more. Yeah, I, I, think, I think TF2 had a port as well. Pretty much TF2, everything. TF2, yeah, sure. And like Half Life. Like, for that too. Pretty much everything yeah. that Valve does has had a port for a long time. Yeah. Um, but outside of that, the list was very short. And then when Proton got announced, the list, I, the list then was also very short. Um, do you know a part of the his, a fun part of the history of um of Proton? The reason why that it um, was developed by the Nia Automata. Yeah. So the guy who, yeah, who made yeah, DXVK, that's, that's yeah. he made DXVK because he wanted to play Nia Automata on on Linux, which is just... yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's that's amazing. <laughs> Actually, uh, we have to say uh, what's great about Valve that they find talents who made things work by themselves, mm -hmm. as as they, as they did with Dota 2, with CS uh, CS was mod to Half Life, mm -hmm. and the same goes with the Nia Automata uh, guy who made. Who made this game playable on Linux by himself, and they hired him to develop a Proton. That's that's actually that's actually way a great way to to build a company mm -hmm. to hire people. But um, what I was getting at there was SteamOS came out, yeah. it told people about Linux yeah. gaming being a thing, but they didn't have Proton yet. Proton came out, it had like a list of like nine games or something that were supported. Yeah. And I was like, okay, this is cool. I knew about Wine before that point because I'd used a Mac, and if you wanted to play like Halo on a Mac, there were things like that you would mm -hmm. sometimes run through Wine. Actually, maybe not Halo. I think Halo had a native version. Regardless, Wine exists on Mac as well, and especially back in the early 2010s, was a lot more popular than it is now. And then I kind of just like stopped paying attention to Linux for a long time. Then when I got interested again back in 2019, 2020. It was Proton was a very different landscape then. Yes, there were a lot of games yeah, that still weren't yeah. supported. There was a lot of balked games. Anti-cheat support was just not really a thing then. Yeah. Then the Steam Deck came out, and it, we were in a way better state then. Anti-cheat started getting yeah. supported. The list of balked games is very, very short. Now, most of the bought games are just like... Multiplayer are, games or, pretty much, or yeah. games that use some weird engine, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... It showed people that gaming on Linux actually was possible now, and not just was possible, gave them an easy way to try it. Yeah, and what, what's crazy about the Steam Deck is that you can install Windows on it, and mm -hmm. Windows experience is nowhere as good as, as Linux experience mm -hmm. by default, which, which you have by default, which is mm -hmm. amazing. You actually have the benchmark to test how different operating system works in this when you have extremely limited resource mm -hmm. to do so. I'm looking at a Proton DB right now. Of the top thousand games, thirty-five mm -hmm. are marked as balked. That's not that's not big of a deal, right? Well, of course, it's a Call of Duty, it's a Rainbow Six Siege, it's, it's the biggest multiplayer titles that you that you have. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless, you can. The great fact about old games is that you can spend tens of or maybe hundreds of hours playing them, and if mm -hmm. you if you love The Witcher Three, if you love old old rpgs like uh like arcanum i think arcanum works on linux nowadays mm -hmm. if you like if you like old s strategies of old times you can you can pour hundreds and hundreds of hours playing great games on linux right now mm -hmm. of course mm -hmm. we still don't have uh call of duty we still don't have rainbow six we still, we still don't have destiny but those are multiplayer franchises that i think we have to wait a couple of years until they will uh will be available on yeah. linux too I am extremely optimistic about that. Um, uh, the great thing about Proton is that it it doesn't it's not only help Linux to get better at games. It, mm -hmm. Other other developers also uses it. Also mm -hmm. uses it. Also use it. I think uh, Apple with a gaming gaming porting toolkit. They they also use Wine to port uh, modern video games to iPhones to. Uh, to MacBooks and iPads, <laughs> you can nowadays you can play Resident Evil Village or Res uh, Assassin's Creed Mirage on the, on your iPhone. That's <laughs> crazy, and that's possible because Wine uh, came a long way uh, through from the from the old era to modern days. Let's let's put it that way. I was just scrolling through the list, and mm -hmm. 
Apparently, you can get Wallpaper Engine running on Linux now. <laughs> yeah. That's cool, uh, sure. And there's, yeah, a, there's also a the KDE great... plugin that integrates with it. Which I think is really cool. That's sick. That's sick. The, the great thing about Steam that is also bringing modding to the games, to, 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 to gaming on Linux. Because mm -hmm. before that, if you want to if you want to, to use a separate launcher to, to, to modify your games, you had to use Windows. Nowadays, mm -hmm. you can install mods from, from Steam Workshop to your Skyrim, to, to Skyrim, to, uh, I think, Team Fortress 2 also, to a lot of games. Mm -hmm. So it's getting Steam... Valve did, did a lot of things right, and i extremely happy that we have them on our side. When Gabe in 2014 said that uh, Linux is the future of gaming, mm -hmm. it was like, oh, it was the moment that made me shiver, you know? 